Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com here from Redondo Beach, California. We are doing a brand new release, five boxes of 2017 Panini Classics Football. This is random division break number one. As you can see, the next one is pretty close to filling up as well. But for the first random division, big thanks to these folks right here for getting in. And there is, there are the divisions right there too. Let's roll the dice for each list. Eight, four and a four, eight times. Eight the hard way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Will Halpy on the pole, Michael G on the bottom. And eight times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. AFC West on top, AFC South on the bottom. Want any of these fonts? <laughs> I want that one. All right, there we go. So Will Halpy, you have the AFC West. Karen Steele, AFC North. Darren Porterhouse Steak. Uh, Last Spot Mojo, NFC North. Will, AFC East. Greg, NFC West. Will, NFC South. Mike Coster, NFC East. And Mike G, AFC South. Remember, this is 2017, so it's the new draft class. So keep that in mind while you are trading. I'm gonna be, gonna pause the video. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna see if there's any trades, and they'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no trades in this break, so this list right here remains the same. Ram Division 1, brand new Classics Football. I only see one case back here, so I think we're just doing uh, five these five-box breaks, and then that'll be, that'll be it for the Classics, I think. So let's pop this baby open. Oh, we have two cases. Well, then we have plenty, folks. Plenty of breaks to do. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. There's inner cases. Well, that's convenient. see which inner we're going to do. One, two, three for the top one, four, five, six for the bottom. It's two, so we're gonna do this top one right here. And this is for next time. right here. All right, let's, let's pop this open. This is new, new blade in the knife too. It's nice. Stack these over here. So then we'll either go the back row or this row right here or this row right here. One, two, three. For this row, four, five, six for this row. And it's four. That's one, two, three, this is four. So we'll be doing this right here. So this is break one. This will be for break two, which is already full. So I mark them two on the top. And here we go. So brand new release. My first look at it. I don't know. Uh, has anyone seen breaks of this yet? What do they? What do they think? All right. So we're looking for one autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average. That's what we're looking for. No vet based ships. Now, if I remember correctly, there were like blank back variations and all that jazz so I'll be looking at the backs of these cards as well so good luck everybody
Guardians of the Galaxy, two box break, two box random pack break coming up after this. And then a, uh, I believe another five box random division break of this. Classics football, brand new release. Just came out today. Along with Guardians of the Galaxy, that also came out today. So a lot of new releases here. Each division is $49.99. Now, last year when we did this, we, were, we actually saw uh, a lot of nice stuff pop out of here. I mean, a lot of these rookies are going to be like, all right, who? You know, but because they haven't really performed yet. But I'm sure we pulled like Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott autos out of this last year around this time. And everyone was like, who? Well, they turned out to be okay, right? right let me put this... Right here. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Just the camera angle a little bit right here. All right. So I'm going to kind of breeze through these. Not sure what the backs are going to look like. There may be some different variations and parallels there. I'll, we'll we'll kind of learn as we go along. Uh, no, vet base is not shipping this. Just way too many cards for us to ship base. Um, I'm trying to look. Yeah, there's blank backs, no names, full name parallels, sepia short prints, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. And there's our first autograph, Raekwon McMillian, or McMillan, sorry, from the Ohio State University. Uh, can someone help me out? Let me know what team he goes to. And someone like confirm and second that. I need I need two opinions to confirm. Uh, Alex Smith, seventy four out of ninety nine. Nice one for the Chiefs. That Davis Webb is numbered out of 299. Is that, see, that, that might be like a red back, something like that. We'll randomize these left, right as well. Oh, actually, let me look at the backs of those two. Um. I got two two Dolphins and a Colts and a Dodgers on the Raekwon Mc, McMillan. Well, I'll go I'll go Dolphins. We'll double check these before before these even go out. Classic combos for the Bengals. Twenty two out of one ninety nine. Subcletus Davis Webb is Giants. You're right. I do remember that. So that goes to the Bengals. That'll be for the AFC uh, North. Karen Steele. Peyton Manning out of 299. All right, I got a third update Dolphin on that Raekwon McMillan. Okay, so it's probably Dolphins. AFC East, Will Comstock with that autograph. 202 out of 299, another one for the Bengals. Josh Reynolds, 187 out of 299. Trying to see if there's any. No blank name 
or anything like that. Let's look on the back of these. Yeah, that doesn't help clear this, thanks, though. All right, that's the first box. <laughs> he should go to the Wu-Tang, right, <laughs> Darren? That's where I want him to go. Yeah, Raekwon. That we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna send that to the uh, we're gonna send it to the not not the Dolphins. We're just gonna send it to the Wu. That's what we're gonna do. That's right. Diversify your bond. That is a great sketch from uh, it was Chappelle show, right? That's a uh, that's a pretty classic sketch right there. see ya we should make the uh, we should make the whole uh, Wu-Tang set like let's see if we could there's Raekwon right there we got to find right we got to find Redman so anyone whose last name is Redman or something like that we got to find him RZA uh, what else ODB Odell Beckham Jr. is in here somewhere he's got to be right we got we can make we can make the whole Wu right plus all the other guys uh, Method Man, Method Man's got to be in here somewhere. annoying stop that <laughs> all right um 93 out of 299 canton collections relic eric dickerson that goes to the nfc west greg with that one and right jo joseph john says two buyback autos and one full name per master case what do they not have full names here charlie joiner One out of ten for the Chargers. AFC West. Actually, let's look at the backs of these really quick. OJ Howard, the juice. 10 out of 299. Yeah, I'm assuming it has to be like their full, full names, right, Joseph Johns? Yeah, they have full name parallels. Yeah, it must be middle, first, first name, middle name, last name. Uh, there's Emmanuel Sanders out of 299. Yeah, like when you get yelled at by your mom, right? And we have Brian Hill. 80 out of 199. Looks like there's a line through his name, but anyway, Brian Hill. Uh, out of 50, Roger Craig, a NFC West, Niners.
So I think we got the auto, we got the uh, the relic. There's Roger Craig again, this time to 299. Adam Kaiser says Hill is Atlanta Falcons. Arthur confirms Falcons. Thank you guys for your help. I'm only doing this for the for the blank back short prints. Yeah, blank back and no name. No name should be on the front. We should be able to see that. Sepia? One per box? Have I been missing the sepias? I don't think so. Maybe one of these are sepias. Sepia said they're one per box. Come on, Joe. <laughs> I haven't seen one. I don't know. I'll look through those again at the end of the break. I figure I figure they they all they the the entire picture would be sepia, right? All right, whatever. We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. That's part of the fun with classics. <laughs> it's, it's like figuring out all this, all these wacky, different short prints and whatnot. All right, Falcons. There you go. NFC South. That'll be for you, Will Halpy. All right, next one. John, what's going on? Hopefully we'll find a we'll find one of those full names out of here. I appreciated that, Arthur. The help is appreciated. I obviously have not memorized <laughs> all of the draft picks and where they go and all that jazz, so But by mid season I usually have like seventy five percent of these guys memorized. Toward the end of the season. I pretty much have them all because then, then you start seeing, you know, the, the, the similar names in the, in the set, in the future sets. You know, I appreciate it. I'd, I'd be Googling it too. I'd be doing the same thing, but I like doing these sets because it kind of, it kind of helps you prepare for the, for the football season. Cause then by then you'll be like, oh yeah. Raekwon obviously goes to the Dolphins, and you can impress your friends at the bar and be like, whoa, how do you know? How do you memorize all this? Case breaks, my friend. Case breaks will be the answer. There's Joe Montana out of 299, NFC West. I'll sleeve all of those up. Is that a sepia? I don't know what the sepia parallels are. I feel like it should be obvious, but it didn't seem obvious. Like that's not, is that it? Cause the picture is black and white, you know, I have no idea. We've got Charlie Trippy, 21 out of 49 for the bears. Cardinals. Hmm. Does that go to the Cardinals or the Bears? It's got to go for the Bears, right? This is the same logo. Oh, that's their Crosstown rivals. Wait, did they become the Arizona Cardinals? Stop. Wait, so someone give me information on this. I think it's true. Is it is one of only two remaining franchises in the NFL's founding in 20, along with the Arizona Cardinals, which was also originally also in Chicago. But they use the same. Wow! All right. So this Charlie Trippy actually, that's pretty trippy. That goes to uh, the NFC West. That goes to the Cardinals. That's great. I gotta actually write that down. Otherwise. 
everyone takes my post-it notes. It's not helpful at all. There they are. All right, so that actually goes to the Cardinals. Well, we learn something new every day. Greg with the NFC West and the Cardinals. Yeah, that, that might have to go to the Wu-Tang team too. All right, let's set that right there. All right, let's take a look at the backs of these. Uh, well, Cardboard Connection, Paul T. was saying like, hey, you know, there should be a sepia per box, but I don't think I've seen one as of yet. Maybe it isn't per box. No blank backs there. We should be looking for a relic now as well. We got the autograph. No blank backs, no no names yet. Not seen that as of yet. Wait, red? Oh, that is numbered then, yeah. Tankersley, 92 out of 299. Come on, man, mixing these up. All right. <laughs> and it's Bears edition of Matt Forte. 98 out of 399 flashback fabrics. So that goes to the NFC North, Darren Porter House Stake. Oh, that's a five out of five. Donald Rogers Maynard. Is that is that like a full name, right? That seems, seems like a full name right here. Nice, for the Jets, AFC East. Bulldog fan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! One twenty-six out of two ninety-nine. Jordy Nelson. Wait, is this different? Doesn't look like the other ones. It must be. I'll set it aside. This is what happened last year, too. We actually, last year, uh, we did this break at the, um, we did this break at the rookie premiere, at the NFL PA rookie premiere last year, and we did a whole 20 boxes of this. And Nick and I were breaking it. We had our shipping crew there, like, sorting and ship, or sorting it out at the same time, and we were just like, we were just like, there's so many variations here. It took us forever. I think it looks like they looks like they trimmed down the uh, the parallels, so made a little it's a little bit cleaner. There we go. All right, two boxes to go. And then we're gonna check out Guardians of the Galaxy and then we're gonna go back to another five boxes of classics. A lot of extra glue on the pack. <laughs> so it's, a little, it's just ever so slightly not as smooth to open up. These are the little things that you notice when you rip enough packs. Oh, thanks, John Peterson. I appreciate that. We try to run a good show here. We try to keep things mildly entertaining as we do these case breaks.
All right, let's keep it going. Classic materials, downtown Antonio Brown. Nice, three out of two ninety nine. So that looks like sort of a a goldish, copperish sort of look right there on that jersey. Where does that one come from? Uh, and AFC North, Karen Steele with that one. Let's take a look at the backs of these. Still looking for those blank backs. I have not seen them yet. And the no names, we should have or the blank names on front. There's Heath Miller, another one for the Steelers. At a 299. Should be oh, I was gonna say we should be looking for the autograph. And Tredavious White. Uh, 86? No, 006 out of 199. I want to say Jets or Bills. That Ezekiel was sepia? Ezekiel who? Elliot or... Oh, I see. So I guess... So when, as opposed to this, right, the player is in, uh, is in that sepia tone as opposed to in full color right here. So I guess that's the difference. I'll try to keep, I'll try to keep spotting those. Uh, 46 out of 299, Tyron Matthew, NFC West, Jason Witten. NFC East, 273 out of 299. Oh, and that Ezekiel Elliott also goes to you, Mike Coster, in the NFC East. Let's take a look at the back really quick on this. Sorry about that. One hundred three out of two ninety nine. Sidney Jones. So they used to have the red back parallels last year, without um, without numbering. So it looks like they have numbered them this year, which is which is kind of convenient. There you go. This is six out of twenty five. Odell Beckham Jr. The ODB part of the Wu Tang. This goes to the Wu Tang spot. Right there, it says timeless on the background too. NFC East, another one from Mike Coster. So, racking up the uh, the parallels there. Um, what were the what were specifically the changes, John Peterson? He's asking me what I think about the changes made to overtime and celebration at the end of touchdowns. I forget what those changes were. Wait, what do they do with overtime? I don't know. My head's in baseball mode. So I haven't really been, I haven't really caught up with, aside from like the draft, I haven't really paid attention to anything since. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. Oh, Alan's saying OT's reduced 10 minutes. Sure, I'm fine with that. They can use a football again to celebrate a TD and do group celebrations. What? The the did the no fun league trying to trying to be fun again? <laughs> Let's make celebrations great again, says the NFL. They saw the ratings dip a little bit and they got scared. And they were like, oh my god, we better bring celebrations back. All right, well, I mean, I guess. 
I don't know. I, I mean, a choreographed celebration. I mean, like 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 soccer goals. You know, when they all get together and they take pictures of each other and stuff. Um, I mean, that almost feels like. I don't know. That, that that almost feels like the NFL saying, uh, yeah, you can totally do it. It's cool now. And I, I can almost see NFL players going, eh, now that you say it's cool, <laughs> it doesn't seem that cool anymore. You know what I mean? So now, now I'll, now it'd be really funny if, if the, it'd be really funny if NFL players just did just like, <laughs> just to say, screw you to the NFL is just to run to the end zone, score a touchdown and just put the football right on the end zone and then just walk away. <laughs> Oh, that'd be pretty hilarious. All right, Marcus Mariota out of 99. Is that 33 out of 99? Right there for the Titans AFC South. Yeah, I think the two players are fine. I think... Jock Peterson said he had a stick nef, neck. There was a big collision between Jock Peterson and Yasiel Puig last night. 36 out of 50. Blank back. Nice. I don't know where he goes, but we'll look that up. But yeah, apparently both players are okay. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Jock Peterson sat out a game or two, but allegedly, as of now, nothing, nothing is nothing bad enough to send him to the DL. But... They were they were saying that it's like a that it's like a car wreck. Marshall Falk, Rams edition, thirty nine out of two ninety nine for the NFC West. Greg, they said it was almost like a car wreck where you're not going to feel like the pain until like a day or two afterwards, right? So, so we'll see how Jock Peterson feels over the next day or two. Ninety seven out of two ninety nine. Melvin Gordon. Uh, I guess this Terrell Suggs is a sepia right here. We got Neon Dion Sanders, 209 out of 299. Now let me look at the backs of these cards right here. I think those blank backs are numbered then, huh? So maybe I don't need to check these, check the backs of these. Maybe. Until until the one time that a non-numbered card has a blank back, and then I'll just be like, oh, come on. Ah, see, that's red. Oh, I just missed a number. Okay, I see, I see, okay. I'm picking, I'm picking up what Panini's putting down right now, folks. So it looks like all those crazy variations from last year, like the blank backs and stuff like that, and the red backs and whatnot, they're actually numbered now. Oh, go oh yeah, okay, so the parallel cards are actually numbered this year. Oh, thank God. Oh, the glossy, do we have to figure out the... That's kind of hard to see. <laughs> well, well, we'll sort those out, too. All right, last bit right here. We're still looking for the autograph. And there it is. Jamal Williams. Out of one night, well, I suppose we have to know who this is now because Jamal Williams had a blank back as well. So where, where does Jamal Williams go, folks? I gotta call this name out. All right, so we'll sleeve all these up. Uh, Packers is Michael G. So that should go to the NFC North, Porterhouse Steak. All right, and that's that, folks. That was your five-box random division break of classics. We are going to randomize that card right there. Dropping those blank cards all over the place. We're going to randomize these left and right. 
So there were other versions. There was classic clashes and like verses and duos and all this other, all this other jazz. Here, did I go through the backs of these? Yeah, I did. So we're just gonna do a quick randomizer left and right on that guy. Let's go back here. Guardians of the Galaxy coming up next. That's our first dice roll. The new dice roll is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The final time, right side. We'll get those. So that'll be all the teams on the right side. And that's it, folks. That was Panini Classics Football. Five box random division. We got another one filled up already. Uh, but we're going to do Guardians first, and then we'll do another five boxes. And then uh, whatever else has filled up, then we have a lot of orders coming in. Thank you very much, everyone. This is Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.